Why they don't drink tea? It's your boy D here. Back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Germany bucket list must sees the country's most popular sites. Before we dive in, y'all know I need y'all to subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. If you guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. What do we got? What's Germany's most popular tourist attraction? Neuschwanstein Castle in Bavaria? Or the Frauenkirche Church in Dresden? What about the Elbphilharmonie in Hamburg? Or something else entirely? To find out, we took a look at visitor statistics for 2022, and the results were surprising. In addition to well-known attractions, there are some newcomers to the ranking. You can also enter many of them for free. Surprisingly, Neuschwanstein Castle in Bavaria comes in at 15th place. You might Ooh, think of this fairy tale yeah. castle as the country's top tourist spot, but the stats say otherwise. Many tourists from Asia were not able to come last year due to pandemic-related restrictions. Although Neuschwanstein Castle is the most visited castle in Bavaria, it's not Germany's most popular castle. That castle is absolutely gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, incredible. The most popular German castle is in Heidelberg. Although mm. large parts of it are in ruins, it doesn't seem to bother visitors. Mm. Instead, it's part of the castle's My charm and what God. makes it so fascinating. What do you think? It's gigantic. Plus, its picturesque location above the old town makes it a great destination for romantics. Mm. Dinosaurs may have died out 66 million years ago, but they still have a large fan base, including in Berlin. Take a deep oh dive God. into the past at Berlin's Museum of Natural History. Here, you'll have plenty of opportunities to learn about lots of plant and animal species as you browse the museum's exhibits. Ooh. Spoiler alert, it's not the only museum in our ranking. Um, first of all, that second castle was gigantic. My lord, how much, how much people stayed in these castles, bro? Like, when somebody built a castle like this, Gigantic and humongous. How many? How much people usually stayed in it? I love dinosaurs, so this is really cool. Tourists in Berlin often ask how to get to the Berlin Wall. It's not always obvious since not much of it is left. A good place to start is the Memorial on Bernauerstrasse, where part of the former border fortifications have been transformed into an open-air exhibition. Mm. You'll learn how insurmountable the wall was and how many people lost their lives trying to get to the West. Wow. Still in the German capital, next we see Berlin's Fernsehturm, or TV tower. It oh. measures 368 meters and is the tallest structure in Germany. Oh Take an elevator up 203 meters to the observation deck. It Jeez. takes only 40 seconds. And you'll love the views over the city. Wow. That's gorgeous. You might be wondering why so many Berlin attractions made it onto the ranking. It's simple. In 2022, more than 10 million tourists came to Berlin. That's more than in any other German city. Now it's time for the top 10. Let's visit Dresden. In 10th place is Dresden's Frauenkirche Church. With its large, elegant dome, it's a masterpiece of Baroque architecture. Jeez. Dresden has plenty of stunning churches, oh, but the Frauenkirche wow. is definitely a visitor favorite. This might be due to its unique past. The church was completely destroyed during World War II and rebuilt decades later wow. as a symbol of hope and reconciliation. Two more churches made it into the top 10. Oh, shout out to Germany because these attractions are just like absolutely mind blowing. They're so beautiful. And it's insane to think that like people like actually built this stuff. Like, 
it, it's it's crazy but it's so awesome can you guess which ones Let's move on to number nine, the Deutsches Museum in Munich. Ooh. It's one of the largest science and technology museums in the world. It has around 28,000 objects on display oh related to everything from aviation to seafaring. It's also very hands-on with plenty of opportunities to see how things work up close and personal. So cool. Sankt Michaelis, called oh, Michael for wow. short, is a landmark in the city of Hamburg. For centuries, the church's tower helped sailors navigate their ships safely. From the outside, the church may seem a bit plain, but inside, it's spectacular. Every day at noon, there's a prayer service where you can hear the impressive organ in action. It's free to enter. Oh, wow. It's a great place to take a breather before continuing to sightsee around Hamburg. You still have a lot to check out here. Jeez, man. When a model railway opened in Hamburg's Speicherstadt district 20 years ago, few visitors cared to pay it a visit. But those days are long gone. Every year, more than a million people of all ages come to see the world's largest model train layout. Hey. New miniature ah. models are being added all the time. There are already small-scale models of places in Italy, the USA, Patagonia, Austria, and of course, Germany and Hamburg. It's like taking a tiny world tour, with plenty of little technological tricks that are sure to keep you entertained. Nah, that, that really is awesome, bro. These places are, they look so dope. They look like they'd be so fun and so cool to visit. Uh, oh, I want to travel so Newcomer much. Newcomer to our top 10 list is the Humboldt Forum in Berlin. Although it may look like an historic building, it actually opened just two years ago and has already become a visitor favorite. It's primarily a reconstruction of the old Berlin Palace, which was destroyed during World War II. Inside is a modern museum and exhibition space with lots on offer, from artworks from all over the world to exhibitions about natural sciences and Berlin history. Admission to most exhibitions is free, although many come simply to see the impressive new building. Jeez. God. The Zolfer Ein Coal Mine Industrial Complex in Essen lands in fifth place on our list. It was once the largest coal mine in the world. Oh, Today, wow. it's an industrial monument and UNESCO World Heritage Site. Concerts, festivals, and film screenings are held on its extensive grounds. So cool. There's a lot of industrial history, too. Its large tower has even been dubbed the Eiffel Tower of the Ruhr and is a <laughs> popular photo spot. Wow. Topography of Terror is a frightening name for a place where horrible things took place. From 1933 to 1945, the area near Berlin's Potsdamer Platz served as the Nazis' Gestapo, SS and Reich security main office. Here, many of the Nazis' atrocities were planned and organized. Wow. These days, a documentation center provides information about perpetrators and victims and keeps the memory of this cruel chapter of German history alive. That's crazy. That's insane. Bro, Germany and its history is something incredible. Now we're getting to the top of our list. So, what sites do you think made it into the top three? Munich's Marienplatz? Or the Brandenburg Gate? What about Berlin's oh, wow. East Side Gallery? If those were your guesses, you're going to be disappointed. Mm. Although all three places are high on the tourist popularity scale, they aren't found in the rankings since visitor numbers to public places don't count. Mm. But now the moment you've all been waiting for, the three most visited places in Germany. In third place is Berlin's Museum Island, a uh, UNESCO Island? World Heritage Site. Five museums are located here. They display art treasures spanning 6,000 years of human history, including world-famous works like the bust of Queen Nefertiti from ancient Egypt, 
or the Pergamon altar, which is currently being restored. On the first Sunday of each month, admission to many of Berlin's museums is free, including those on Museum Island. That's crazy. In second place is the Elbe Philharmonie Concert Hall in Hamburg. This spectacular building is a blend of old and new, with the brick foundation of an old harbour warehouse and a whimsical glass structure on top that's reminiscent of ocean waves. It fits in well with the harbour city of Hamburg, doesn't it? The Elbe oh, Philharmonie wow. is now six years old, but it can still be tough to score a concert ticket. Fortunately, there are other ways you can marvel at the architecture. Mm. Head up to the visitor platform for great views of the city. It's also free to access. The most popular place to visit in Germany is the Cologne Cathedral. Of course. It received 4.3 million visitors in 2022. God. We can't say enough about how spectacular this church is. Wow. At 157 meters, it's the third largest church in the world. The central area is 144 meters long and can hold 4,000 people. And it took over 600 years to complete. Wow. Climb up 533 steps to enjoy the magnificent views of Cologne. Cologne Cathedral is a Gothic masterpiece, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and the most popular site in Germany. Wow. Well, all those places are so phenomenal, are so incredible. That cathedral is just... I don't know. It's, it's it's almost like there's no way humans build something this great, this big, this awesome. But but they did. That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. See more than you out. <coughs>